What the chairman has asked me to do is to recap a bit of who we are and also to recap the journey that we have made to this point. And it's an honor for me to remind you and remind this country that it will be 20 years this year. 20 years this year of this journey of Forum for Democratic Change. I would want to see, to hear a, a great applause of the 20 years of this struggle. One Uganda, one people, one, people, one Uganda. Those 20 years is what we represent here. An investment of human capital an investment of aspirations on a mission for democratic change. I want to remind us that Forum for Democratic Change was formed by three political entities. There was the Reform Agenda that was led by retired Colonel Dr. Kiza Resige who then lived in exile in South Africa, arising out of the brutal 2001 general elections. There was the Parliamentary Advocacy Forum, led by the Honorable Augustine Ruzindana, that at the, at the time was battling with the amendment of the Constitution, with the assault on the article that had been placed in the Constitution to safeguard and to bring about transition democratically. That was also joined by the National Democratic Forum, led by Chairman Chapa Karuhanga. The Forum for Democratic Change you see today does not belong to Nadia Nankumbi. It belongs to us. The three entities that formed it, and I'm happy to be a witness and to bear true witness to what we formed. 20 years is a long time. I won't take you through the, all the building blocks. I just want to remind you of the milestones of that journey. We had a referendum in which the multi-party system of democracy was reinstated. And we had the first election of multi-party uh, democracy in 2006. I am sure that those old enough to remember, remember the brutality that met Forum for Democratic Change. In 2011, we were, Forum for Democratic Change too uh, engaged in the, in the general elections. And so did we in 2016 and 2021. The main character of all these elections has been military brutality. You will recall how we were attacked under the command of Kali Kaihora and Kawesi, how they stole the assets of the party. All these assaults have not broken the resilience of the Forum for Democratic Change. I want us also to note that this journey is built on the blood broken bones, graves, gunshot wounds, lost opportunity of so many people who many cannot speak for themselves today and who we happily represent because the struggle is still in safe hands. Looking back, 
I think we can trace the enemy within from 2016. The enemy within. Because the enemy without had failed us, had failed to, to destroy us. It's the enemy within. And that enemy within still exists. The enemy within has been weaponized. The enemy within is now a weapon of mass destruction. Being used happily by the junta to destroy the remaining hope for change in this country. The enemy within has got a new spokesperson. They speak vehemently. They recently said, you cannot work outside institutionalized politics. We were never made by institutionalized politics. We fought all the way to where we are, and we refuse to be put back in a, in a prison that has been captured. And so we gather here not to lament about what has befallen us, because you're here, but to chat our way forward. We meet here because you cannot steal the elephant. The elephant called it DC, you cannot steal it. It's too big for you to steal. And so, in the mandate you have given us, we are seeking to repair, we are seeking to restore, we are also seeking to rebuild. And we stand tall and proud as organizers of change, defenders of change, guarantors of change. And we should be happy with ourselves. I am also happy to tell you that our history, which is even being made today, defines us as part of the solution for democratic change not part of the problem. We are proud congregated national council that represents part of the solution that Uganda is faced with. I have given you part of that history which will be documented because we know that visuals are better than, than prints our history this year will be recollected in all the videos and the audios that have been captured on this 20 year journey. And with that, I want to thank you. I want to encourage you. I want to send you back as a robust team that is working for change for Uganda. Thank you very much. One Uganda, one people. One people. One Uganda. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman.